Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17.4.1. This update has now been available to the general public for a couple of days now. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional details in regards to the software, any bugs, how's the battery and everything else in between. Now in this video, I also want to briefly talk about iOS 18 because we get once again Mark Gurman chiming in as into what we can expect Apple to release with iOS 18 or what's going to be changing this year with iOS 18. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is iOS 18. I want to briefly talk about the software. As we already know, Apple is working on a few things. We have basically confirmation of this. Apple is working on RCS support for messages. We know that Apple is working on AI. Recently, Apple has already been rumored to be working with Google to bring Gemini chatbot over to iOS to help with AI on iOS 18. And some of the latest reports coming from Mark German, he mentions that iOS 18 will be more customizable. Now, he didn't go into details in regards to exactly what this means, but this can mean anything from adding different size widgets, the ability to customize the home screen with themes, perhaps add even toggles to the home screen. We don't know exactly what more customizable means when Mark German mentions this on his latest newsletter. But yeah, iOS 18, once again, rumored to be one of the biggest updates to iOS in its history. It looks like Mark Gurman continues to chime in in this software update. Honestly, guys, I can't wait to get my hands on. The first beta we can expect the first or second week of June of 2024. If history is any indication, we should get iOS 18 beta one on June 3rd or June 10th at the latest, in my opinion, based on Apple's previous WWDC schedule. That may be the days, those may be the days that Apple could release iOS 18 beta one. So we're not too far away from exactly knowing what's going to be different, what's going to be new with iOS 18. But yeah, more customizable home screen. It appears that that's going to be the case with iOS 18 as well. Now let's head on over to iOS 17.4.1. As I mentioned, this minor software update was released just a few days ago, and I've been using it on my primary device. This is my primary device that I carry with me at all times. There it is, iOS 17.4.1. And I want to talk about the bugs because I've encountered two minor bugs, nothing major. Number one, the widget disappearing from the home screen temporarily and also when I went to unlock my iPhone once or twice I saw a bit of a stutter when unlocking other than that I can't report any additional bugs at least on my experience so far with the latest 17.4.1 but I want to talk about the battery as well because this is important and I asked you guys over on YouTube and over on X how's the battery working for you and we get basically the same consensus across each poll so right now about 2,000 300 votes we have 56 percent of you guys say the battery is great that is awesome news that is more than half of you guys that say the battery is doing great needs improvement 32 percent and terrible a 12 percent so based on a lot of these comments that you guys have left here it looks like apple has addressed the battery concerns and issues for most of you guys now there's still some of you guys that say it needs improvements and 12 percent of you guys that are having a terrible experience with battery but overall the consensus that the battery is pretty solid on iOS 17.4.1 and I have to agree because I've been getting through my entire day over the past three to four days since Apple released iOS 17.4.1. I haven't had basically any issues getting through my entire day with iOS 17.4.1 and the battery performance so far. Now, if you continue to have issues with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or battery, let me know in those comments down below and please specify which iPhones you're having issues with because so far Wi-Fi has also been pretty solid solid for me and Bluetooth. I can't complain. My AirPods have been working just fine, which is basically what I use Bluetooth for for the most part. But yeah, there you guys have it. Just a quick update on iOS 17.4.1. Things are looking pretty good in my opinion and based on my experience and expect a more customizable home screen with iOS 18 according to Mark Gurman's latest report. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.